Next time I'm going to discuss what the trend method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method here after that coincides. So at a, I've taken integer variable a double r. The type is array type and I've given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. If you want more than here, you can increase the size. So first variable a double r. And here after integer variable i j n temp. So next is n here of to temp. i and j now control comes to this point console class dot right line method so whatever you double code that display into the output is going to enter the number and whatever i'm going to enter so that received by n into the in the dot parts console dot right line so whatever i'm going to enter so that received by n so i'm going to enter n value fine and here after current Again, control comes to this point, console class dot right line. So this all display into the output screen, into the elements in the array. And here control comes to for loop. So at I will start from zero. And that check the condition zero less than n value five. Condition is to that coincide. So let's enter a double or zero position new element. So at here, first I'm going to do the indexing. So this is a zero index of a double r. This is one, two, three, four. So into dot parse console dot return. So let's enter a double or zero person new element. So at a i value is zero. So a double or zero person let's enter element. So I enter or seven here after i increase. So i is now one. That check the condition one less than n value five condition is to that coincide. So let's enter a double or one position new element. So I'm going to enter 12. Here after I increase, so i is now two. Check the condition two less than five condition is to that coincide here. Let's enter a double or two position new element. So at here I'm going to enter six. Here after I increase, so i is now three. Check the condition three less than five condition is to that coincide. So let's enter a double three position new element. So at here I'm going to enter 5. Here after I increase so i is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter it over 4 person new element. So at here I'm going to enter 8. Now I increase so i is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5 condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point j equal to i minus 1. So at here i value is now 5. 5 minus 1 j become 4. So at here i value start from 0 again. Check the condition 0 less than j value 4. Condition is to that coincide. So a double r i value is now I start from 0 again. So at here a double r 0 position value go to tan. So 0 position is so 7. 7 go to tan. And here a double r j. So a double r 4 position value go to a double r i. So first uh, let's create a new array. So this is the uh, zero index one, two, three, four. So at here uh, j value is now four. A double of four person. So four person eight is there. So eight go to a double or i value is zero. So at here uh, eight come. Now here after time value go to a double or four. So time value is now seven. Seven go to a double or j value is four. So at here uh, seven come. And now j decrease. So j is now 3. And here after loop continue. So i increase. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than j value is so uh, 3. Condition is to that coincide. So at a double or 1 person value go to tam. So 1 person is 12. 12 go to tam. And here after a double or j. So j value is now 3. So a double or 3 person or uh, 3 person 5. So 5 go to a double or i value 1 so at here 5 come a double r 3 position 5 is there so that go to a double r 1 so at here 1 position 5 come so time value go to a double r j value is 3 so 3 position time come so time is now 12 so 12 add come 
three position and now j decrease so j is not two and here after i increase so i is not two so it is j the condition i less than j so i value is two j value also two two less than two condition is not two not coincide so i do two position no any changes so i do that come six so now control comes to this point console class dot try time method so this are displaying to the output screen after reverse of array elements and here for loop so i value start from zero again and here here check the condition n value five zero less than five condition is to that coincide so at your first that leave eight character space rasty and can carry it eight over on zero position element so eight display here after I increase so I is now one check the condition one less than n value five condition is to so that this time that print eight over of one position element so five print here after I increase so I is now two check the condition two less than five condition is to so that print eight over two position element six print here after I increase so I is now three check the condition three less than five condition is to so that coincides right here that print eight over three position element twelve print here after I increase so I is now four so the condition for less than five condition is to that coincide. So let's you know that print eight over four position element. Then print here after i is now five. Check the condition five less than five condition is not to not coincide here. Control comes to this point. Console class dot return method. So this take one input from keyboard and terminate the output screen. And next that output main method. So final output get uh, get this on eight five six twelve seven. So this is in reverse now order. So eight is last. It come first. Uh, five. I tell four place. So this come second place. Here six three place three place no any changes. Or uh, twelve I tell fourth place uh, second place. So it come fourth place. And here seven in la uh, first place. So that come last place. So this is the drain method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.